When we think of a jellyfish, most of us probably picture a floating umbrella-like creature with stinging tentacles. But these see-through creatures are a lot more interesting than we give them credit for. Some might even hold the secret to eternal life. Let's start with some basics. Jellyfish have different life stages, sort of like how a frog starts as a tadpole. Most of them begin as eggs and turn into larvae, moving with the flow until they find a safe spot to calm down and grow. These larvae then transform into polyps, and eventually into free-floating young jellyfish called medusae. This whole journey for most jellyfish goes in one direction, from young to old. However, there's one jellyfish that thinks outside the box when it comes to its life cycle. On that note, meet Turotopsis dornii. This one also has a catchy nickname, the never-ending jellyfish. That's because it can do something most creatures can't, at least that we know of. You know how butterflies evolved from quirky-looking caterpillars to these beautiful insects? Imagine an elderly butterfly deciding it misses its former stage, and then poof, it turns into a caterpillar, and thus young again. Sounds like some sort of magic trick, but these jellyfish might be able to do just that. When life becomes a bit too difficult under the seas, like during food shortages or when it has injuries, this jellyfish doesn't just quit. Instead, it transforms into a small blob which eventually becomes its younger self, ready to start over again. This whole operation is what scientists call transdifferentiation, a big word for a process that's incredibly rare. And it's a bit like they've got a natural reset button. To meet the minds behind this incredible find, we'll have to travel back to the 1980s. During those times, some students were observing random jellyfish expecting the usual life cycle. Earlier stages of development, growth, and then reproduction. They were in for a surprise though. Instead of following the script, these jellyfish started their life over again and again. And thus, the legend of the never-ending jellyfish was born. A team of scientists got curious about this jellyfish's secret, so they took a close look at the jellyfish DNA. You see, DNA is like a massive recipe book. Every page tells our cells how to work and keep us alive. As it turns out, this jellyfish recipe book has some very special notes on how to stay young forever. The forever young jellyfish has special tweaks in its genes that make it flexible in terms of staying young and living a long time. They have features in their basic code with instructions for repairing DNA, keeping cells fresh and talking to each other, protecting cells from damage and looking after the tips of their chromosomes. Scientists also noticed that when this jellyfish feels like getting a bit younger, it changes the way its genes work. It might be nice if we could steal these genetic instructions and somehow replicate them in humans. Truth is, for the time being, we can't follow this jellyfish's lifestyle and turn back time. While the whole turning young again thing is pretty amazing, it doesn't mean they're invincible. They can't dodge hungry fish or curious turtles. Their endless life has a catch. It's only about age. On the downside, these creatures are pretty delicate, so studying them is like handling a fragile artifact. But with much care and precision, an Asian scientist has been studying them closely since the 1990s. He's seen some specimens rewind their lives up to 10 times in just two years. These little wonders started their journey in the Mediterranean. These days, they can be found all over the world. How these tiny creatures became such world travelers is equally as amazing. Ships might be the unsuspecting Ubers for these critters. They may hitch a ride in the ballast water of ships going from one port to another. Their size and see-through bodies mean they go unnoticed, and their appearance can change depending on their address. Some feature just eight tentacles, while others can sport 20 or more. These differences mean they are also highly adaptable too. At first glance, a little jellyfish traveling around the globe might not seem like a big deal, but here's why it's important. Every creature, big or small, has an impact. While these immortal jellyfish haven't influenced their new environments like other invasive species, their silent journey is a reminder. 
It shows us how we, as humans, unknowingly influence nature. Despite its amazing capabilities, this particular species of jellyfish doesn't have a brain, or a heart for that matter, or bones, or even blood. Instead, they're mostly water. How do they function without a brain or a heart? Well, the secret's in their cap. They have this unique network of nerve cells right on the outer layer of their cap. They also come with a big, bright red tummy that helps them digest their food. It doesn't mean we should underestimate them. In fact, these jellyfish are quite the predators. They love to munch mostly on tiny creatures like zooplankton. But their diet also includes little fish eggs, sometimes even mollusks. At times, the older ones even fancy eating other jellyfish. They use their tentacles like fishing nets. So they reach out, sting their food, and then guide it into their mouths. These jellyfish aren't the only creatures that might be able to mess with their timeline. Tardigrades might be a word you're not necessarily familiar with, but they're also called water bears or moss piglets. They're these tiny, chubby, eight-legged animals with cute flat heads. Tardigrades might even remind you of a mini version of a caterpillar. Now, what's truly interesting about these creatures isn't their looks. These little guys are known to be super resistant. They can even handle the harsh conditions of outer space. And here's how they do it. When life conditions get a bit too complicated for them to handle, tardigrades just stop playing the game. They go into this very relaxed mode known as cryptobiosis, where they cease almost all of their internal functions. In this state, they squeeze out nearly all the water from their bodies, tuck in their heads and legs, and roll up like a little ball. Back in the 70s, scientists figured out that there are four main things that make water bears go into this deep sleep mode. Drying out, freezing up, running out of air, or when things get way too salty. During their nap, these little moss piglets basically turn off almost all their energy. They've got this special stuff in their cells called TDPs for short. When they squeeze out all their water, these TDPs build a protective shield around their cells like an invisible force field. And because of this, whenever they find water again, they just wake up, stretch out, and go about their business like nothing happened. Some lobsters can stick around for a whole century too. If you like to enjoy lobster for dinner, don't worry. You're probably feasting on a youngster around five to seven years old. These cool critters can't technically live forever, but they never stop growing either. As they get bigger, every couple of years they shed their old shell and grow a new one. Bigger lobster means older lobster. The largest one spotted was about as long as a skateboard. And the chubbiest, he was about as heavy as the office chair you're probably sitting on. Not all lobsters can reach such long lifespans. It got scientists curious, and they looked a bit into their environment to check for clues. It seems that those guys that enjoy warmer waters can't make it that long, but those in chilly waters like American lobsters can go on and on for ages. The problem with warm water is that it seems to speed up their metabolism, which is what makes lobsters reach the end of their lives sooner. Also, as they get older, this whole shell-growing process slows down a bit. It also seems to take more and more energy. The energy it takes can be so much that some lobsters just get too tired. Of course, there are other things they need to watch out for too. They've got to dodge hungry critters, including us humans.